Hello, my loves. Welcome back to the Hottie Life YouTube channel. If we are meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica, and I shuffle and pull tarot, work with my intuition, and pull charts for astrology readings all the time. So in today's reading, we are going to be looking at why I just heard from Spirit as I was maneuvering about my day after the storm. I think that's what I heard. Was that? Whatever it was, it doesn't matter uh, word for word in this circumstance what exactly I heard. The overarching message and vibe that I was getting as I was kind of settling back into my home after the lunar eclipse was after the storm has passed or after these energies have occurred in our lives, what happens now? Like, where do we go from here? And, of course, I'm recording this now in this moment and there are many of you who as soon as I upload you're the first to comment first to watch and I love that however if you're someone who's coming from the future or even from the past if you're a time traveler just kidding um, this this reading was meant to find you I do believe that it was because I'm setting the intention for that but also it's whatever storms you're going through or whatever energy or whatever life is looking like for you now what's here and what is to come this reading again was inspired by this divine channeled message that I felt that I downloaded I was just downloaded as I was maneuvering about my day it might have been kicked up by the lunar eclipse I didn't ask any questions I just went directly to my altar and this is where I'm at now so feel free to grab some tea or some coffee or a snack or a blanket, get cozy, and allow me to shuffle for you and see where this message is going to take us, okay? Dear Divine, I thank you so much for this moment. Once again, I give you gratitude, and I give gratitude for this Time that we have together, the person that I'm shuffling for today, I ask that you protect me and protect them as well. Sharpen our discernment, give us clarity. As we understand exactly where we're at right now and where we are to go, under your guidance. I'm using the tarot today as a tool to activate my intuition spirit. But I ask that you give me the visions, the words, the clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, so that I can transfer over the message that is needed the most right now. I ask that this reading be received with peace and give direction, clarity, to and guidance to the viewer. So for those of my babes that are very, very interested in the cards that it is that I pulled, we have Four of Swords. I didn't realize my orchid was so invasive right now. I did, uh, um, I was working at my altar last night for the lunar eclipse, so everything's a little dusty from the incense and also discombobulated from that moment. We have Four of Swords reversed, Two of Pentacles reversed, Seven of Cups reversed, Hierophant, the Fool card reversed, Ace of Wands reversed, Eight of Cups upright, Six of Wands reversed, and King of Cups reversed. I'm going to take a moment and sit with this. It's interesting that the King of Cups is here reversed because I, okay, I'm actually getting, you have eight of cups here as well, so I'm actually getting this really strong energy of literally the vision of a, an actual storm. So that would make sense why Spirit said that to start. When a storm happens, there's huge clouds, there's rain, that's pouring down in front of our face. There's lightning, there's wind, and it's so hard to see the future. It's so hard to see in front of us. I'm wondering why Spirit is bringing that 
to the forefront of our time together right now? Is there something that you are striving to look for? Even with the full card reverse, it's this desire to move forward, but something is stopping you. Something is making it cloudy. Something is making it hard for you to see the next steps or to trust the next steps. And this might be your own perception. It might be circumstances of life. It could be a multitude of different things. As you are receiving this reading right now, what does this storm represent for you? And sometimes with the storms, our first in instinct is to think of the storm as something that is negative, chaotic, disruptive, powerful, cleansing is one word that comes through. So those are the first initial thoughts and feelings that is that we have. I really would love to encourage, if you guys hear any noise in the background, I have chickens and the hens are probably fighting over a, a grape. I just gave them grapes, so they're um, raging right now. So, uh, so this storm, it doesn't need to represent the things that normally represent a storm. You know, the, the, the characteristics that we would normally tie to a storm, this storm can represent a multitude of things. So I really want to encourage us to think outside of the box. Even with the Hierophant card here, there's a really interesting desire sometimes to think about life or this reading from a more traditional conservative perspective even if you're someone who is think outside of the box and eccentric let's challenge ourselves to look beyond that what does this storm represent for you whatever this is I believe that you're in a period of transition and transformation right now you're moving from one one I don't want to say season in your life, but some of you guys, it is that it is that deep. It does go that that it is that profound where it it's the ending of a chapter or cycle in your life. For many of you, this is an assessment of where you're at right now, and it feels very still. I would not be surprised if someone right now is watching this curled up in bed. Of course, I mean it's YouTube, so I wouldn't be surprised if someone's curled up in bed. But it's I don't know if this is a place where you would naturally happily be it, it, it not in the sense that you don't like the fact that you're in your bed but it's almost as if you want to be co-creating or creating or moving i don't know why i heard metabolizing or metabol metabolizing so someone could look that word up real quick for those of you guys i have my phone here so i'll look up on my phone but for those of you guys that don't understand my process or you're new with me oh 555 five, five on the on the clock yeah, you're processing something. You're processing. I'll hear a word. I've heard it. I'll hear it um, many times within my life, but the, the word itself applies in the reading and it has layers to it. So metabolism is a process. Oh, process. Yeah, what does it mean to metabolize something? To change into a form that can be used by your body, to process and use yeah so there's something here again i i believe that you're if it's not so much that you're a period in a period of trans transformation and transition although some people might define it as that i see this active processing even as you're resting it's really interesting that that is the word that spirit actually brought brought just now is metabolism like you're metabolizing it's 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 transitioning from one thing into something that can be productive and of use to you and I, as I'm saying that, I'm really hoping that things are balanced. And that's where I almost get a strong sense that that's where there's there's period of like you can't move too quick and you can't move too slow in your life right now or this situation isn't going to move any faster or slower than what it already is. It needs time to break down so that you can apply it where it's meant to go. In this process though, it would be very difficult for you to see where it's going to go. However, I just heard that you can predict it. So someone here is very, very in tune. I'm also hearing that if you're not super intuitive on the regular, or if you're an, a natural intuitive person but you can't see for yourself because that happens to us all the time, you have received some type of download. I'm, uh, I actually feel that if you, when you receive this download, it actually might have made you uncomfortable, or you might have doubted it, 
had some, some sense of doubt with it. So sometimes, again, as spiritual people, we'll receive a download or we'll receive a message and we start to second guess ourselves and ask ourselves, was this actually what, is this actually the divine talking to me? Is this actually my guide? Is this actually my ancestors? Is this actually God? Or is this my hope, my wishful thinking? And sometimes we collapse into that. Then looking back, we think, oh, I manifested it. But it was actually the vision downloaded to you by spirit, so your intuition being activated, that called you into action to manifest it in, in the first place. I hope you're following along with me. I want to say that you, if, if you're resting right now, because in this message, if you're, if you're active while you're receiving this message, then spirit is referring to the fact that in some this situation within your life, you want it to be moving forward and rapid. You want to be moving. You want to be. It's I'm, and for some reason I'm hearing something for someone with real estate. Like it's like you, you're ready. Like you're ready for something, and while you're resting. You, you have to wait for the right opportunity to fall into your lap or you have to wait for things to fall together or things to happen or things to churn. And there's a lot of circumstances outside of your control here. So even if you're resting, there's this active energy that's happening within you that this is why spirit is referring to the word metabolizing. Like even though it seems like you're not doing anything, your body or this energy or the circumstance is being broken down and everything is being put into place where it is that it belongs. Will you be able to see this in this moment? No. I think you might have an intuitive sense, but there's so many cards here and there's so much energy revolving around this reading right now that says you would not be able to see where where this is leading you. However, you do get an intuitive sense. However, you, you are second guessing your intuition and what's next within your life. So the best thing that you can do right now is take it step by step, day by day. Someone received a confirmation and clarity. Someone needs to receive confirmation from me. I feel it so strongly in my spirit to tell you that this vision, this next step, is not impossible. It was from the divine. This is where you're actually going. This is where you're actually headed. This has been a process, a journey that is leading you. If this is, um, if someone is looking for confirmation on a relationship, I don't know if this is your reading. But this is more about your work and what you're processing together and also your path, your purpose in life. Relationships might weave into that, but more, more than that, it's security, what's next, and next steps within your life. Spirit is also talking about astrology. Go to your astrology chart and look at the timing. You'll be guided within that and you'll find confirmation and clarity for the in intuitive download that you've already received. I also just heard the word premonition. So if someone saw, someone actually visually saw it or had like a Raven Simone like ah moment where it, it, it cemented itself in your third eye vision, okay? So that's the reading for right now. I know that was pretty quick, precise and to the point, but that's literally what I'm receiving right now go to your angels and your guides and consult with them and um, for those of you guys that aren't subscribed I want to encourage you to subscribe but you're not obligated to I thank you so much for listening in for this time and serious serious gratitude for every single one of you thank you for being here truly not just in my YouTube channel but here on earth walk in the same walk in the same steps okay sending you my love be easy on yourself okay I'll talk to you guys later bye